Told him, thank goodness for catching that ball because coach would have gotten on to you. Boy, I would have. If Tobias didn't catch that pass, I would have probably been sitting right next to coach. <laughs> and he would have been in my ear talking about make the easy play, make the easy play. So I just saw Tobias at the corner of my eye and he was running hard. So I could have shot a layup, but, you know, I just tried to give it to him. You know, he was, he was, he had a great game today. And, he was feeling it, so I give it to the guy who's hot. Does that pass define feathery? Oh, there's no question. It's definitely in, it's, it's definitely on the feathery list. Uh, hopefully, I have many more feathery plays Jux, down in the future. Chuck said his grand plan for this team is to be one that gets out and runs with with your young legs and Mo and Tobias and young guys who can run. I mean, is that kind of the way you would like to play? <clears throat> oh yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, definitely, you know, just to get out and you know pick up the pace a little bit. And, you know, get after it on defensive end, pick up full court, you know, um, turn guys, you know, cause havoc on defensive end, and then getting steals and rebounds and just pushing it and pushing the pace. And, uh, you know, it's good for us young guys to be out there together and doing it. Just got to continue to build on it. You had to break up you guys to get that back to the game. I mean, there wasn't a lot of deep, I mean, they were making a lot of shots in the first half, the third quarter when that run came, you guys were, were getting out on the break, making stops. Um, I think because we made stops, that we, that's why we were able to get out on the break. Um, Again, we just got to continue to keep building on that and uh, making our defense create for our offense and uh, realizing when we continue to help each other and, uh, you know, jump in passing lanes and dig for each other and stunt for each other that it creates havoc and, you know, essentially helps us get out on the break. It was a one month stretch there where Tobias couldn't play with his ankle. How happy are you to see him getting into this rhythm and, and having this? Oh, man, it's great for him. He, Tobias works really hard, you know, and. From, from sitting over here watching him go in the gym and work on it and trying to get back and you know and for now the game is starting you know to he's starting to get used to everything and you know he's getting in the flow of the game it's, it's great to see that and he's big when he plays well we play well so he just got to continue to keep going and you know keep working hard and keep building on it. it seems like he re works really well with you the way he can fill the, fill the lane on the break. Oh yeah he does um you know we're just trying to build this chemistry you know all the young guys are trying to build this chemistry together and um, you know, we're just trying to gel, you know, bring something to the team, especially when we're in there as a unit, in the second unit. Um, I'm just trying to bring them together and we're just trying to uh, play with the chemistry and just grow with it and be consistent. How comfortable is that second unit? Um, I think we're pretty comfortable with each other. You know, it's, again, it's a, it's a work in progress. You know, we're not going to play great every night, but it's, we just had to have the same mentality every day and every game. So you're on the first unit and the second unit, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's nice. <laughs> <laughs>